Hey, what is up everybody, Blades here and Tapper in another video of Black Clover Mobile. And inside of this video, guys, we're actually going to be going over the main man himself, William here, as well as his complete build. Now, this was something that you guys ended up wanting to see here, according to at least the community poll here, as well as some people inside of the actual uh, Discord as well. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. But before we do that, I have to say, Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Bladesifer and we do daily freaking Black Clover mobile videos here. Currently I am moving, so we are actually getting some of these videos a little bit pre-recorded for you all. But if you like yourself some just information in general, guides, PVP, anything of that sort, I'm the guy that you're gonna be looking for here. So we may dip into leaks, but I don't know on that side of it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video and have some fun. Now going with this character here, William is himself a utility master. This man can of course get some speed up here and helping your characters out with speed and endurance here. Has defense um, defense um, protection pretty much for you to actually have attack reduction on the enemy here. As well, he can even turn you into a tree. So this guy is actually pretty dang interesting here. Able to at least boost up attack speed, increasing stamina, stuff like that. Absolutely amazing, while also giving debuff immunity as well. Now alongside this, this isn't only what he can do, but he can also help out with fortifying your characters in general and also applying counter attacks. But with this char crazy character, he also has a ton of different ways that you can run him, as well as a ton of amazing things that you could possibly do. Now my William's only one star here, so having a five star one of him, heck, you can even have a zero star one of him and he will absolutely meld with anything you bring on the table. So let's go ahead and break it down real quick. Now going to his pre his best books here, this immediately you guys already know is going to be his um his actual personal book here. And the main reason for his personal book is because it really does help out his skill two, which you will be using quite often. Now what this skill two ends up doing here is upon using the skill two, it grants the ally with the lowest HP um, HP recovery equal to 6% being just no dupes at all into the car all the way up to 10% of maximum HP Well, their maximum HP Now that's pretty dang good Definitely is amazing to keep right there and it's something you would possibly want to look into Alongside with this character of course you have some other things that he can possibly be using Especially when it comes to his cards as well If we go ahead and look at some other cards here on the side here Some ones that could possibly come in handy are a few that I actually ended up putting inside of the Discord itself. Looking at William's build here, William himself, you're really going to want to run, a, you're gonna to want to either run, um, go ahead and use Fenrir's card. Fenrir's card is actually fairly, fairly helpful in which I think I have a maxed out one somewhere. It should be here, let me check. Yes, okay, so we have a maxed out Fenrir card here in which this does help him out quite a lot. Definitely one of the few SR cards I would definitely say you would possibly want to use. Mainly just because it helps out his skill too a lot here, including that, and in which gives you a 25 to 50% chance of applying 10% increased stamina upon yourself. Seeing that we do want William to get up to the plate really quick to immediately utilize his next skill, this does come in handy quite a lot and is very useful for a supporter. Now, of course, if you were looking for another SSR card, you could possibly go on the defensive side here, in which I would kind of recommend, especially if you want to keep this man in handy here, and I would say use most likely Moonlight Necklace. Moonlight Necklace itself gives you 40% through 80% increased defense, while also giving you 6 through 10% increased healing to yourself. This allows you to pretty much have a really good sustain build for your character, um, and which is absolutely amazing. Now, I unfortunately don't have that book if I am correct here, in which um, if you guys wanna know what it like looks like, it literally looks like a little golden moon, which is very, very helpful for the character himself. Now going over his skills here, we have his skill one, which is so annoying to deal with on the actual opposite end of this here, in which can transform the opponent here. It's called Twisted Roots, in which has a 40% chance to transform the enemy into a tree for one turn. Now, if some of you guys remember this back in the beta, it was very much so annoying. Luckily, they kind of dumbed it down a little bit here, but pretty much it makes the enemy lose their turn if it does proc in that 40% chance, in which every time you upgrade it gives you 5% skill damage, or at least skill attack, as well as skill magic attack. 
kind of interesting to at least have that there, but definitely not necessary. Now going with his skill two here, which is the one that is the most needed here, is the beating of the magic tree. Now with at least this skill here, you definitely need to get up here because it imbues an ally with energy from the world tree, providing them with a buff. Now the buff that it could provide is attack level four to an ally for two turns, apply speed level four to an ally for two turns. And when an ally's stamina is 50% or below, it has a 60% chance to apply 30% stamina to them as well. Now, of course, if you have his card here, you get an extra little buff as well, giving you that debuff immunity for at least one turn which gives you pretty much four buffs all at once. Now for upgrading this said little stat here, you can get yourself at level two increased stamina chance to 20%. And then of course at level four, another chance to 20%. But in between three and five, you can get yourself 5% of extra stamina in general, which is pretty dang nice to see. Going along with at least the actual ultimate skill here, one of the few that I actually like the most as well, is it will summon a massive, or at least a colossal tree root from the sky, dealing damage to all allies. I mean, all enemies here. Sorry, I said allies. And which um is called Magic Tree Arrival. This applies Fortify level three to all allies for two turns, as well applies counterattack to an ally with the highest attack for two, or at least one turn here. Now, what Fortify does pretty much it reduces the damage taken by 35 or at least 34% seeing this level three, and then the counter attack itself is self-explanatory. You get yourself a counter attack depending on who has the highest attack for that one turn. For upgrade here, you get of course skill attack and skill magic attack. Nothing too crazy when it comes down to that, but definitely something to look at. Going with his combination attack here, which is kind of interesting as well here. Combination attack gives you yourself increased defense pin for level four to yourself and your partner kind of okay but normally you won't be using it too much so you'll probably be using the ultimate skill often. going alongside this which is his unique passive which is just getting him the lr pretty much here you apply five percent fortified to all allies for one turn upon using the special skill which is one of the reasons why you want to use the special skill um immediately when you can get the chance now going alongside this we're going to go ahead and go down the list and check it out but before we do that of course we got to prioritize these skills in order now for skills you want to prioritize i would definitely say skill two is definitely undeniably the one you want to max out first no matter what it's definitely way more helpful than anything that you do have after that you would like to get up at least the ultimate if you do care about some cc if you don't care about cc of course it is not necessary but if you care about cc Definitely would say the ultimate and then leading into the at least skill one. And then, of course, later on to the chain ultimate. Of course. Now, going on with his best gear here, I would definitely say four set speed is definitely the best way to go around it. But a two set defense here, um, if you wanted to, you could do two set enhanced speed, two set regular speed and two set defense. Or even you can do yourself a favor and use two set speed, two set defense and two set HP. Though I wouldn't recommend it, you definitely want this man to have as much speed as possible. So I would definitely say the four um, set for speed is definitely really, really good to keep. And then seeing that you want him to tank just a little bit, you have some defenses. Now, of course, you're going to want to use the magic pieces, of course, here. Give him a little bit of some attack here while also utilizing the HP and defense piece. And then just for me getting some extra, uh, getting some extra, like I would like to say just defense. I use the defense piece. But you could possibly use a magic piece if you wanted to. This was just me mainly saying he doesn't do that much damage anyways, so might as well give him some more defense so he can take a little more. Now going on his accessories, which I actually clicked off for a second, I am beefing him up with a lot of um a lot of defense here, pretty much for the most part. In which when it does come down to it, you want to kind of beef him up a lot. And actually, this is really good. I did not even notice I had this, so we're actually gonna slap that on him, get up his CC a little bit more, in which Pretty much what you want to go ahead and look for is a ton of just defense here. We have this, unfortunately, for him, which isn't too useful. Um, hopefully, I can get that replaced later on. But it does help in any ways when it comes to his crit rate, which I mean, like, that's okay. But let's go ahead and go into the dupes here and show you guys exactly what this does here. Now, when it comes to dupes, dupes is definitely going to be one of his few strong points, seeing that you are going to need pretty much all of these bad boys, whether it comes down to this one here or at least the top one immediately. You get actually a lot of bonuses as well. 
Now going ahead and looking at what he has for his first one here, which does not unlock you the passive, of course, but gives you a little bit of a boost and a little bit of um, CC here. This will end up applying with 284 CC, boosting into the defense and HP side of things here. Now going ahead and checking out the seal two here, or at least getting it to do two here, you unlock your passive, which is the lovely LR passive here, giving yourself 1,284 extra CC, boosting HP and defense once again. This pretty much gets your accuracy rate of 30% up even more, um, helping you get at least that 10% extra, I would like to say, I think it was speed, if I'm right or endurance, which is actually quite nice to have. Um, now, it usually had a 30% procking, but now later on, you end up getting that extra here, which we're gonna actually go over. Now, you also get 284 extra um, CC from this going into at least HP and defense. Later on, going into 299 for HP, defense, and then of course, getting three extra speed steps. Then later from that, you're getting yourself 1,299 more cc knocking yourself all the way to 126 speed in total if you have this guy fully maxed out being the fastest you can get him and this gives you an extra 100 200 i mean 1299 cc as well boosting up your passive instead of it being at least a get 30 percent it will now be at 50 percent which is kind of nice to at least have now going into this character's traits here you definitely would like to run something like this similar here Getting yourself a little bit of extra damage as well overall i currently have him on the magic attack and at least a regular attack here mainly because the other ones that i looked at weren't too worth i mean you could go with accuracy but i mean i don't find it too worth for cc wise or anything like that so i mean like i wouldn't technically use it going into his best defense of course you always want to go with the 20 percent defense and then the wave move here and then when it comes down to this here you of course want um, something defense related, usually just a regular just defense stone, giving yourself some extra CC. Then going to these two here, you want to go for these two traits immediately, keeping those guys up. And then you would like to actually use speed on him later on. Currently, I only have this speed, so I have to give me a better one here. But um, each bit of speed actually does help. So technically, I am supposed to be running this one extra speed here. But um, we're currently using HP for the CC, which is perfectly fine. But in the long run, you definitely want to use speed, no matter how that looks. Now, going with this character, he is absolutely amazing. But we have to get, of course, into the whole, at least how he works, how you use him inside of PvE or PvP. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of PvP just to show you guys exactly how this works. But actually, I'll save that for a different video. We'll actually use that on a different video. But let's go ahead and take a look on him inside of PVE so you guys can actually see exactly how he does work here, in which this is what you're gonna end up doing immediately. So we're gonna immediately just go ahead and take out, you know, we're gonna take out immediately uh, Voltos here, because Voltos is pretty much his substitution. But of course, if you already have that all situated here, then you're perfectly fine. Um, let's go ahead and use this here and let's go ahead and see. Now, this is usually my team that I would use for different things here immediately. And off bat, William's going to help this team so much because you're going to have that defense value while also having those buffs that you very well do need in order to help out Noelle herself. So if we go ahead and do this here, you immediately would like to either use the ultimate or go ahead and use the upgrade. Usually when I'm using him, I always use the upgrade and you want to beef up whoever is your DPS or here. Now, when it does come to this, you could possibly ult here, but normally you're going to want to go ahead and at least beef up your character. But for us, we're actually going to do, we're actually going to do just a basic attack. As you can tell, we actually get a lot more damage off of this. And the only reason I did that little basic attack is mainly because I want to show you guys what pretty much you can do with all the other buffs on too. Seeing that since this is PVE, we do lose our buffs per wave. So I wanted to at least save some things here. So if we go ahead and put on this buff here immediately, he's going to immediately get some things here. As you can tell, we automatically have us that counter on Noel, also helping us with a little bit of other things here when it comes down, at least reflecting the damage back, which is very, very nice with this character in total. But what we really want to just get to check out is pretty much everything we can do here. Now, let's go ahead and give her some buffs here, because remember, we do have a lot of buffs. The more buffs that we have on this character, the more she'll deal. And so if we go ahead and do this here without the buff, she can deal a ton more damage, as you can tell. 
Now, William is just pretty much being her cushion, helping her just race back up. As you can tell, she's at the very back here and immediately she races back up. This is something that you're going to want to use a lot with William. It makes runs way faster. He's definitely one of those units that you really want to have um, for any type of grinding and anything really in the long run. William's probably one of these few units that I can say is also a pretty decent tanker for a supporter. And I definitely got to say is one of the one of my favorites when it does come down into that. Now, of course, you could mix it up and you could also decide, all right, forget using the um, using the uh, what is it called? The buff the first turn and just go ahead and use the defense reduction or at least the uh, defense up for yourself here. An attack reduction on the enemy here we're using the ultimate it does very well work out for seeing that you're able to at least keep your character safe very early on and by doing this of course it allows you to set up everything when it does come up to noel instead of her racing up because most noels are going to be um shielding off that you can go ahead and do something of the sort like this have all your buffs in a row and just exterminate that way being able to at least save your uh save your at least your taunt or your shield for the next round seeing that shield race up here immediately pop off your shield and pretty much you'll be safe from this i would definitely say william is probably one of the few only characters that i can do stuff like this so um of course if you do have him i would definitely focus him quite a lot seeing that it can be very very helpful but you can tell boom just doing some nice damage here getting back up here steady going and he makes this all possible then, of course, showcasing his skill one, they turn into a tree, lose their turn for the at least time that they're here. And pretty much is just a very nuisance type move when it comes to at least dealing with the enemy. So, I mean, like, it's pretty OK. Overall, William is a very solid unit and definitely is going to be a unit that's probably going to stay within metas and different things for at least Black Clover overall in general. But um, I want to hear what you guys think about the character. What else do you think he's really good at? Um, is there anything that I did not go over for the character himself? And if so, let me know down below in the comments. I'm definitely uh, open to constructive criticism or anything that you feel like that I need to work on on certain things like this. But till next time, everybody, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did smash that like button beforehand, consider subscribing if you are new. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.